I am using this video to explain to you how you can set your engine timing on Perkins engine. Engine timing on Perkins engine. If you assemble your engine very well and during your setting of your timing and your timing is not properly set, the engine will not start. And if your timing is very close but it's not accurate, your time your engine may start but may malfunction. Because of that, it is better for you to time your engine very well. When it comes to engine timing, three major components are involved. Your injector, your crankshaft, and your camshaft. I repeat again, your injector, your crankshaft, and your camshaft. Remember your injector determine which cylinder to atomize, while your crankshaft control which piston is going up and which one is coming down. Then your camshaft control your valve strains. Which valve should I close and which one should I open? Those are the three major components that involve in engine timing. Now to time it, if your gear teeth is marked, it is very easy. As you can see on the screen, this is a crankshaft. I bring it out so that you can see it clear. I remove it from the engine. This is the 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 mark on the crankshaft. You can see it has two. So it's only one that will enter in between the two mark on the crankshaft. You can see, I want to show you the, the mark. You can see it there now. You can see it there. That one, this very one, will, will go in, will slot in, in between the two. This is injector timing. This engine is designed in a way we have your crankshaft gear and we have your camshaft gear and we have your injector crankshaft gear. Then there is a link. This is the link that link three of them together. There is a gear link that link three of them together. It is gear link. You can see here. This is the uh, camshaft. This is the camshaft gear, and this is the in injection pump gear. You can see that is the injection pump timing. This injection pump timing has two in mark. It has four and six. If you come across something like that. You can use me. I usually like to use the lower number first. If you try to know the lower number and then it's not starting one hand, then you can go to the higher one. You can go to six. Or if you can try six first, if you notice that maybe it is too high, it's knocking, then you can come down to your lower mark. So sometimes your injector timing might have two. Use the first one. If it's not working, just come down to the second one. This is the link gear I'm telling you about. You can see here's the link that link the three of them together. You can see this is the link gear. And you can see this is the second timing. But I'm not using this timing. I'm using four. One is mark six. Another one is mark four. So I'm using the four with, to link with my link. And I'm very sure the engine will start. You can see this is the link or your camshaft. And now this is the link. You can see this one too it has been set. That is the timing mark has been set to the, with the, with, between the link and my injection pump. Why this one is for the crankshaft. I'm going to the crankshaft to show you. You can see this is for the crankshaft. You can see the crankshaft marking now. And so the link has the three marks. One for crankshaft. One for injection pump. And one for cam sharp. But in case you cannot see mark, you can try to you, you, you can try and get another gear. But if you cannot, if you can see a gear, you can mark it so that it will give you other ones. In another video, I'm going to show you how you are going to do this. How to set injector or your, your, your timing when you don't have timing mark on your gear T. That is the way we go about it, and your engine will still give you what you want. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, do well to subscribe to my channel and 
do where to go to comment if you want me any specific video you want concerning diesel engine don't do where to drop it on the comment i'll go through the comments and i'll surely do the video and if there's anything any question about this video can go to the comment section ask me the question and i'll go to give you this 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 gear you are seeing now is your this the injection gear it has um Keyway, it has keyway. That means it has key. It, that means you don't need to turn your injection to number one about to shoot. You don't need that. Since it has keyway and your injection tool has key, just slot injection to the key of the. You can see it on the screen, on the uh, the key of your injection pump. Let it match with the key of your gear of your gear. Then injection will be at the setting. Since you are setting your mark already but if your there's some injection pump that there is no key way or it has no key with like that that means you need to adjust you you have to set when you set other uh, other marks then you go to your injection pump and you give it about to shoot you make sure that your your number one the injection of your number one is about to shoot at that point it will get you you get it. see you in my next video thank you thank you thank you